Hello and welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Uh, some tough news for Boston Bruins fans. New acquisition, Brett Connolly. Uh, broke his finger and will be out six weeks. Um, it's just... Hits just keep on coming for the bees, don't they? Uh, I thought Connolly was going to be a good fit, and you know needed a fresh start in Boston, and I thought the bees could give that to him. Uh, I thought it was going to be a win-win situation for both sides, actually all three sides. I thought Tampa, you know, got some draft picks, was able to move some assets and get Braden Coburn. Connolly got a clean slate in Boston, and the Bruins got a forward that could, you know, had a lot to prove and you know could fit in with the way they play the game. Obviously, um, that is not the case. So uh, tomorrow night, when the Calgary Flames play the Boston Bruins. Uh, Brett Connolly will not be making his uh, Boston Bruins debut. Broke his hand in practice, taking a shot. Or break, broke his finger um, in practice, you know, after taking a shot. And it's like, I mean, really, this is what it comes down to. Uh, it's safe to say put a fork in the season. Um, it's just, uh, it's I legitimately, not that Connolly was going to be, you know, what got them to the Stanley Cup, but um, is, you know, yeah, I thought he was, he was going to be a good addition, but obviously... That's not the case, and um, you know the Bruins again have a void at right wing. I thought Connolly could have been a good short-term acquisition, possibly a great long-term acquisition, but it's not happening. So right now, I mean, they got to move some pieces around the board. Looking at their depth chart, you know, just keep Brian Farrell in the lineup. It would be nice to have Craig Cunningham in the lineup, but obviously they chose to waive him rather than keep him around. Obviously a very foolish decision, considering I thought Craig Cunningham would be a perfect fourth line center for next season. Uh, but obviously, the Bruins and Deco, those sentiments. Uh, I mean, there's you know a few different things you can do, but the, again, I just think it's... I hate quitting on the team like this, but they really show me nothing to uh, to the contrary. And, uh, you know, what's a guy like, you know, Max Talbot going to bring you up? You know, what can Brian Farrell and play a little bit more up a line? You know, can Ryan Spooner continue his, you know, nice little run of play as of late? You know, those are all questions I think that can be, you know, if they're, they're all answered in the Bruins' favor, you know, maybe some good things happen down the stretch. But, you know, it's, uh, it's tough. You know, can Milan Lucic produce like a $6 million a year forward? You know. It's just a just a bad a season of just bad bounces for your boys in black and gold. So anyway, that's all. I got this episode of the power play with CJ on the uh, Boston Bruins losing Brett Connolly. Stay tuned for episode throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.